Hey there, I'm your host Lesawi, and in today's video I'll show you how to create a draw and a sheet animation. So whenever your character has the weapon out, he's going to change animation, and whenever it's back, it's going to go to the regular one. So let's begin. Before we begin, you're going to need a few animations, either have a draw or a sheet animation. I'm going to show you how to reverse it, and that way you'll get both the draw and the sheet. Then you're also going to need a idle animation and a walking animation and lastly a running animation. These animations you're going to use as a second blend space for when your character has the weapon out. I'll also link the sword down below so if you don't have a weapon you can use that. Once you're back in Unreal Engine and you have everything downloaded I can show you um, in the content drawer if we find our animations. I can show you how to get a draw and a sheet. So let's say you only had a draw, I'll show you how to get the sheet. And if you had a sheet, I'll show you how to get the draw. A simple way of doing it is just reversing the animation. So if we go to draw, I can actually duplicate this first. So let's duplicate. And I'm going to rename this to sheet, like so. Let me just close this guy. And if we go to our sheet real quick. Over here, you see something called a rate scale. And if you say minus one, and play it, it's going to play from the back, and that's how you get your sheet. So let's save this and exit. Then let's go and find the skeleton of our player. So for me, it's Brady underscore skeleton. And inside of here, we are going to create two new sockets one for when the weapon is put away, and the second for when the weapon is in your hand. So I know I want mine to be at the back, so I'll just search for spine, but let's say you want it to be on the belt, so search for hip. Every character has different names, so just um, see what you can find. And if I go back to the spine, I can right click on this joint and I can say add socket. And this socket I'm going to rename back weapon. Of course, name it whatever you see suitable. And if I search for back here, just to make my life easier, we can right click and add a preview asset. And then this I can scale down and we can play around to get it wherever we like. So that's right. So then from here, just play around. And a good way to know where the weapon should be, get your animations out. So let me find my draw animation. The hand goes about there. And I know, because I've done this before, I want the weapon not to be exactly on the hand, but just about uh, because of how the animation's made. Otherwise, the weapon's just going to go through the player's head. So if you are using the same animation as me with the weapon, you want the weapon to be about on the wrist, like so. That's where it's going to look the best. So once that's done and the weapon's looking good, we can go and add the weapon to our hand. So if I search for right hand right there, and if I bring my animation to arm to idle, so inside of here, let's get our right hand a socket and we can right click and add a new socket. So this socket I'm going to call um, right hand item or right hand weapon underscore item. Just remember the names you have because you're going to need them later and we can save that. And if I search for item, it should show up here. Again, right click and add a preview asset, which is going to be our sword. So it's too big again. And let's scale it to be the same size. And let me select it again and just rotate it to where you see suitable. Yeah, about there is looking good for me. So once everything is done here, we can simply save and exit. Then the next thing you want to do, go back into the content drawer and let's find our animations. So we're using the draw and the sheet animation. So if we select the draw and the sheet, right click and create an anime and in montage. So then uh, inside of these guys, uh, let's go to the draw first. And we want to create an anim notify or anim montage or whatever this is called. Let's see a montage notify. So this will be where the weapon is put into the hand. So if we go around the back, and I think the best spot for the weapon to appear in the hand is about here, I think. Um, that's just my opinion. 
So I can right click, add notify, montage notify, and we can name it. We don't have to, but let's say drop. And let's save. Then back to do the same thing in our sheet. Let's go here. And if we go around the back, we can see the best time for when the weapon is put away, which is going to be about there, I believe, around the 30 mark. So right click again on the notifies line, add notify, montage notify, and call this sheet. S H E A T A G. There we go. So let's save and exit. Next, it's good to do our input actions. So let's go and find that input actions and let's create one. And this is going to be called IA underscore draw and sheet. So enter. Don't need to do anything in there. Just save it and go into the IMC. Create a new mapping. Find it. And then whatever key you like. I like it to be on the OR key. So I'll choose that and save and exit. Then let's go into our player and ready. There we go. And inside of here, if it opens for me, there we are. Inside of here, I want to go to the viewport and I want to add a my weapon. So my weapon is a skeletal mesh. So I'm going to add a skeletal mesh and I'll call this sword. And let me drag it into the mesh. Once that uh, that is done, let's search and add a socket. And I want it to be at the back, like so. Then we can actually add the sword there. And if we reset this and reset this, we should see the weapon appear nicely on our back. So let's save, compile. Okay, then back inside of our character's event graph, I want to call my function, which is going to be IA underscore draw sheet. So that's our input action and I want to create a checking system to see if the weapon's in the hand or on the back. So let's create a variable and this is going to be called equipped and you can leave this to be a boolean. So get it, create a branch, press B, hold left mouse button and connect this guy into started. Then from here you want to do a two montages. So play montage, one for sheeting and one for drawing. So we can Duplicate this and this goes into here. Don't forget to get your mesh, character mesh, and connect it like so. And for this, we say sheet, and for this, we say draw. So then we want to, of course, attach the weapon to our hand. Um, so on notify begin, like we created, we are going to do attach component to component mesh. Uh, get this guy, break it, and you want this to be the parent. And the target, you want to be the sword. So connect that into here. Yeah, let's drag this up a little bit. And then everything here, just say snap to target, snap to target, and snap to target. Then for the socket, uh, of course, this is my back weapon. That's how I named it. So that's why you need to remember that. And the return value, we are going to be, we're going to set this to be false. And then here, you do the complete opposite. So we can actually copy this, paste it into here. Drag it up and on notify begin. I want to set this to true, and this is going to be my right hand underscore item. And if I go to test, it should work. So let's compile a save and see if this works. And we press R. We can see that our character is going to take the weapon out, and R again is going to put it back. One thing that I don't see is the other animation or the blend space. He's just standing there as he would before. So let's go fix that. Let's go into our animations. And over here, I want to create the new blend space for when the character has the weapon out. So right click, go into animations, legacy and blend space. So here I'm going to select my Brady skeleton and I'm going to say BS for blend space underscore um, Brady underscore armed. So that's how I'll remember that. And we can go inside and then let's drag our imported animations into here. So we have armed idle. I'm going to put that there, set it to zero. And before I forget, uh, change this to speed. Um, don't be like me, change it to speed. And then this is up to you. I want it to be at 300 because I found that value to be good. 
then I'm going to get my arm to walk. If I find it, here we are. We can drag this in and set this to 150. By the way, um, if you see arms jump, start, and all this, uh, don't worry about that. I was just testing some stuff. Then let's get our armed run. And this is going to be 300. So, like so. That's fine. Let's save. And next, let's go into our blend space. So, AB underscore Brady, or whatever your character is. And this is going to be important. So, from here, I want to drag and say cast to Brady. So, that's my character. And whatever it is for you. And the object can go here, then promote this to a variable. So I actually have one there from earlier. So let me just delete that quick and promote to variable and call it Brady ref, like so. Then connect this here and then we can get our get equipped, get a branch. So depending on true or false, we will create a new variable and this variable can be called armed or whatever you see suitable and on true we set it to be true and on false oh don't get uh, set so this is going to be true and this can be false like so so then inside of the anim graph of our character let's right click and search for blend poses by bull so this will allow us to change from our regular blend space into our armed blend space. So one thing I should mention, if your montages are not playing, just have this guy there, default slot, it will allow uh, them to play. Let's break this chain and this will be into false. So we are not armed and we can connect this like that. And the condition is, of course, armed. So the variable created, plug that into there. So here we can connect our new blend space, but for that I will do a state machine because of course our character is not going to jump or do anything, so you'd have to set this up here. I'll call it armed uh, locomotion. That's perfect. And if I go inside, I can do my state. I spelled that wrong. So this will be my idle walk run um i won't show you the jumping stuff like um i have that in another video so i'll just show you the blend space so go inside here get your armed blend space connected like that and from here let's do promote to variable or we actually already have one don't need that like so compile and save and if i go to play now my character will draw the weapon and he's going to go into this pose. But one thing you can see, there's a bit of a jitter when we change this animation. That's because you want um, the bool values. So if I go back, you want this value to be zero. You don't want it to be anything else. If I compile and save, now you will get a smooth transition between the different animations like so, and we can run. So just to do the jump, you'd have to set up the jumping mechanisms, which I have a video for. So guys, I hope the tutorial was easy enough to follow. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.